So in this experimental project, the first step is obviously to clean the keyboards. Use a painting brush to dust off and then you're going to use some soap and a brush just to clean off the dirt that is in between the keypads and make sure that you rinse it with clean water and let it dry. So I ended up using around seven keyboards. You can use more depending on the size of the project that you want to create. So the most important process is preparing your surface. And in this case, we are going to use cello tape. We're also going to use a tape measure, silicone sealant, a cutter or scissors. I'm also going to use a square ruler. In this process, uh, according to my door mat, it's going to measure 80 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So I'm going to mark out the boundary. Then I'll run cello tape at the bottom part so that when we finally pour in our resin, it doesn't stick to the plywood. And um, I forgot to say that you'll also need plywood or a flat surface that you can uh, prepare for the project. So just go ahead and lay out your yellow tape, making sure that it sticks perfectly. You can use a rag just to press it on the plywood so that it's perfectly straight. Make sure that you have trimmed off the tape so that you have a clean boundary. So now the next process will be sealing off the boundary. The red line indicates the, the part which we will place pieces of wood so that it blocks out the resin from spilling out when we finally pour it in. So in that case, I have cut pieces of wood and on the inside part I have put cell tape just to prevent the resin from sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and we are going to stick it using the silicone sealant which also doesn't stick to resin. Before we begin the actual project, make sure that you have your keypads ready. So pluck them off the keyboards and in the process you can arrange them in letters, numbers or in words. And if you want a message to appear in your doormat, just make sure that you prepare them, you set them in different tins, you arrange them so that when we start pouring in our resin, they are ready to be arranged on our surface. Because the thing is that the resin dries very fast and in this case we will be using a UV resin and I mixed I mix my UV resin in the ratio of 125 ml of resin with 2.5 ml of hardener and also remember I'll be sharing the information where you can get this resin locally in Nairobi in the information box down below So the actual secret with resin is that you need to pour it in small portions otherwise it will dry very fast and you will not be able to complete your progress as desired. So I was pouring in 125 ml of resin at a time and arranging my pieces very fast so that the resin does not dry on me. And then we will go on to other, other layers, other pieces of pours until we have covered the whole area. Make sure you can prearrange the messages or the numbers that you want to appear in your artwork. Keep in mind that this is an experimental project that I am doing. So this is just to show you how you can 
make use of resin, manipulate resin into your artwork, whether you're doing jewelry, whether you're doing sculpture or installation. And my aim is just to give you those basic tools so that it can open up your mind and you can go forth and create and explore even more with this type of um, style. So after all the pieces have been stuck on the surface, you will also want to go and pour in more layers on top of your keypads so that it forms a very thick layer that will form also the structure and make it stronger. So by the end of the day, you might have a one centimeter thickness of resin and your project is ready. My hope is that you enjoyed the video and the project and that you learned something that you're going to apply either now or in the future. And if you loved this, leave a like, share, and consider subscribing for greater content. Until next time, bye-bye.